what's going on everyone welcome back to another video in today's video gaming live stream equipment setup walkthrough a little preview of my home office so where do we begin before we actually take a look at the setup that i have here yes. i'm gonna need you guys to hit that like and subscribe button and also hit that notification button so that way you can stay up to date as Daddy. to when i actually Daddy. make a post because it's not all day so i'm gonna be here waiting for you guys to subscribe so i got my feet kicked up and i'm ready to relax got my chair reclined oh yeah i'm i'm gonna be here for a while until you guys actually subscribe so uh hit that subscribe button and share this video to your friend and tell them to also be like come here hit that subscribe button too <laughs> we can start off with the type of desk that i have i do also work from home so i got my work equipment here so that way i can you know do my work equipment and then after work that's when i really you know get to get in the zone of uh gaming and some live stream and video editing with this setup the, the hardware that i have to use this desk is an excellent excellent and i mean it's a excellent desk it's a l shape executive cherry wood desk it's got the cabinets above which the cabinets i can honestly say use them for storage of my cologne collection as well as my body oil collection and you know hair products and stuff of that nation you know, you know, I got, got to smell good. I always got to smell good. I'm trying to tell you, even though I'm sitting in the chair, still got to smell good. All right, so to our left, we have this drawer. It's about three drawers on each side. The bottom drawer is the deepest drawer. The right side, we have two drawers. Both of them are deep drawers, and that's definitely where I pretty much keep like my spare you know, components. also have this uh, collection of cards these cards I collected since I was a kid got some football in there and just a little bit mixture of baseball and football okay cards from Canada just keep browsing through It's, it's some cards, where are they? There we go, we got some, we got some old wrestling cards in here. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we got. This bottom drawer, oh, look at this. So this is my Dell laptop that I basically used for doing my first gaming capture, you know, recording. Uh, also did gaming live stream on here. And it, it, it got the job done. It, it led me to where I am now. So let's get to the actual gaming computer. This is my gaming rig. Yeah. So the computer case is a NZXT fan. Yeah, uh, MT to help daddy computer. So with this Phantom computer case, this was like one of the top of the line computer case back in the day. And I mean, back in the day. Like this thing right here, Ooh, Lord, I love it, I love it. Like the capabilities that you can do with this type of computer case. You can water cool, you can air cool. We can go crazy over the air cooling. If I want to go to water cooling, I would, but thus far I've been doing air cooling for years and that's just what I'm gonna stick with. The thing I personally love about this computer case is because it's got ventilation on the side, underneath, on the top, front and back. That's that's absolutely awesome. I, just, I I love this computer case. If you can find one, I would say grab one. These computer cases still hold that value on eBay. Okay, on eBay. <laughs> yeah, trust and believe me, they're a little bit pricey. <laughs> the computer specs is we have a MSI nine seventy gaming. Okay motherboard you can't you can, you can barely see it but this motherboard is an msi 970 
gaming motherboard. The CPU that we're using is a AMD FX 8350 8 core processor. Again, AMD FX 8350 8 core processor. I'm still running the AMD FX 8 core processor and it works perfectly fine. For memory, we have 32 gigs of memory. Again, 32 gigs of memory. Video card, we have an AMD R9 390, which is the eight gigs graphics card. Again, AMD R9 390, which is eight gigs graphics card. Can't really tell you the brand of the power supply because I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I believe it's either 800 watts or something of that nature. It does have a CD, uh, DVD, RW drive. Right now the computer is idle. CPU, low three, six percent. Memory, uh, Windows 10, it always tends to show you like 16 gigs or something of that nature, or either 20, but it's got 30 in there, and typically it will adjust when the computer needs to utilize that additional memory. I have a couple of SSD hard drives. C drive is SSD. Uh, P drive is like for programs, that's SSD. G is for like gaming, so I install like all my gaming stuff on here. That's also SSD. And then the other hard drive is like, you know, stuff that I put, you know, stuff that I put on hard drives. <laughs> uh, that's honestly it. I am running Windows 10 on my computer, okay? Windows 10 64 bit on my computer. I'm not running the latest and greatest motherboard, memory, CPU, or a graphics card. I'm, I'm not. Because this works. It works for me. I'm able to play all my games fine, which I barely have time to play. And the games that I do love to play, you know, it's like Call of Duty Warzone, Forza Horizon, Grand Theft Auto. I think I already said that. Those are my main games that I play change the lights because it looks like somebody's been playing yeah. with my lights. I know exactly who. Me? Yep. So we changed our computer lights. As you guys can see, computer lights, they can change. We got multiple fans on here. We got two fans on the top, one on the rear, one on the side, and two in the front. There's one up top, one right here. And basically my air flows from outside in through this fan right here keeps this video card cool and trust and believe me it works it works so these two fans here they are our cpu fans in the heat sink the heat sink basically pulls the heat from the cpu and then the fans basically dissipates that heat throughout the case which this fan right here ventilates the heat outside the case these two fans, they basically pull air outside the case as well. So it's 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 cool in there. It's cool in there, baby. Hold up, wait a minute. I just forgot something. So remember what I said that there's a fan underneath here. Well, let's take a look under this dusty case. Oh yeah, you can see that little dusty little thing that I gotta clean. Yeah, you probably can see it. Let me zoom in. Yeah, we can see that little dusty little thing. Man. That's horrible. <laughs> uh, don't worry. This computer case this weekend, she'll get clean. How many times will I clean my computer in a year? Like completely clean it out? Hmm, probably three times a year. And that's just based off of, you know, the atmosphere that this computer is in and how often I use it. This game and keyboard I purchased from Amazon it's a absolutely wonderful keyboard. Detachable, arm wrist pad, very comfortable. Got your volume. It's got this little gaming mode, manual mode. Uh, you can also do different type of configurations to the actual theme of this keyboard. As you can see right now, if we stop and don't move, you can see that the colors are changing. So we can kind of reprogram that to whatever color that we, we like. So moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. So what we got here, we can go ahead and light her up so you guys can get a little, little full effect there. 
let's go ahead and change change the way that it's uh there we go okay okay all right there we go this is basically similar to this keyboard but it's a little bit different it has a backlight but it's just white and i wanted it that way because this is like where i do my video editing and game live stream as you guys can see this dusty 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 computer right here is our video Ricky. yeah this weekend we're gonna do some cleaning goodness gracious look at that just look look at that look at that this is a practical design and i absolutely love it because it has these dual fans in the front one two cooling going from the house to the case temperature glass and as you guys can see the cpu fan all right all right all right man just look at that fan just look at how beautiful the colors change Ah oh, man i tell you this is the one that i honestly I, I honestly wanted to get both of my computers on my desk but because you know work from home i couldn't you know i really couldn't do it really couldn't do it couldn't fit it, it had to end up over here but oh my goodness i was i was honestly after i i set this whole thing up i built this whole thing i was honestly considering selling my uh phantom computer case and taking all the components out and buying another case like this and throwing it in there but the thing is is that my phantom case uh inside it's much more uh taller deeper than this so i can't really do it there's no point of me even mentioning the build because it's exactly similar to my gamer rake okay check this out it's 32 gigs of memory this is a msi 970 sli carrot edition motherboard my gamer rake has an msi 970 gaming motherboard every component except for the fans was from my gamer rig so basically when i bought this case i took all my components out my gamer rig except for the fans and i just threw it in here running the same setup just you know different 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 uh motherboard motherboard and uh the actual cpu is a amd fx 8320 i think it's 8320 it's an eight core that's all we gotta say it's an eight core this is the msi 390 the thing about this one is that the one in my gamer rig is the msi 390 and this is the msi 390x okay so this is supposed to be a little, little bit more tweaked a little bit more tweaked out it's an a core our elgato there you go there she goes yes sir so you can see we have our elgato gaming capture card that is a pci e which makes it much more faster much more faster than what i had before which i'll show you yeah and here we go so this oh wrong way there we go ah that's a little bit perfect a little bit dusty but you know everything's dusty right now this is our elgato hd 60 gaming capture card this is the first one that i actually used when i first did my live stream and my game recording on my old youtube channel which i never i wouldn't say i don't i would say i never but i just haven't posted there in a while but anyway so this is my first ever gaming capture card it was pretty cool because when they first came out this guy he wanted to or his child wanted to do some youtube and and then he found out like man this is hard to do you really have to do a lot of work to post videos. You can't just post videos. You've really got to do some work and entertain and do this, that, that. You just can't play, you know? So he was like, you know what, Dad? I don't want it. So his father was like, you know what? I'll sell it to you for 100 bucks. And I think at the time, these was like $200 or something like that when they when they came out. So it was, man, it was a bargain. I was like, yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> but the problem with this thing is that when it comes to live stream, the way that it processed data, it processes it from a USB connection, 2.0 USB. When it captures from there, it, the transfer rate can be wow. slow. So then there's another version, which is the HD60S, which is supposed to be connecting from the actual USB 3.0, which is a little bit more faster. However, the big dog, this particular gaming capture card, that connects to your motherboard directly. It connects to the PCIe Express. 
And I tell you, it, it's absolutely amazing, amazing. Underneath our video card is a actual fan. Now this fan is basically pulling air from underneath here up to the graphics card and out through the case okay because it's basically pulling it up and it's got some other fans here which is feeding air through there now the reason why i did it it looks so jinky i know i know this graphics card amd r9390 they are absolutely known for heat they build up a lot of heat and when i first installed this this temperature glass oh it was scorching hot it was scorching hot okay in addition to the, the CPU was also generating a lot of heat. Like I, I, I touched this temperature glass and I was like, oh, low, that is hot. That is hot. Okay. So if you have a computer that basically has a temperature glass and you don't have a side fan like how my Phantom computer case does, and you use a big dog, you know, eight gig or whatever, how many gigs you want to do. You use a card that is known for, you know, it's heat. I will highly recommend that you add a fan underneath here. So that way you can at least have that fan to generate some sort of air. Okay. To dissipate the heat. Okay. Because what's going to happen is that heat is going to build up here. And it's just going to build up throughout the whole case. And I tell you, your computer components are it's just it's going to struggle. All right. Yeah. So even though it looks janky, it works. Again, it's got two big fans in the front. I got two big fans in the front. And I got these beautiful fans up here. Pop quiz. Check this out. Where did I order my fans from? Okay. I want you guys to tell me where did I order my fans from? What place? Well, that that those fans came with it. But what place did I order these fans from? Okay, I want you guys to tell me. Tell me. So let's move to the back. To the back. To the back. And as you can see, there's that El Gato capture card right there, baby. Yeah. And as you guys can kind of see, this is the other game zone, which you got my young. My young one, straight chilling. What you doing, man? Playing like this one. Uh -huh. He's chilling. So I showed you the video rig, the video setup, keyboard, mouse, monitor. And it's got this dual monitor setup, which each and every dual monitor setup, just the stand itself was $40, Amazon, best thing ever. Try to tell you. So now we're gonna focus on the actual camera that we use to do our live stream. Which as you guys can see, this is it here. That's the camera that we use. I actually got a spare camera. This is the brand, which is the same brand as that one. This one's, a, it looks a little bit more bigger, but it's just a design. So it's got this little privacy cover here. You can just open it up and then there's the camera. Now this particular stand, you can maneuver it however you want to, but it does not have an actual light. I was going to get one with a light, but they were all on back order. So I could not, again, this camera only cost roughly fifty dollars and it is spectacular spectacular when it comes to recording with very low light and i'm pretty sure a lot of people that utilize the camera at night you know that you need light but this camera right here i will bet you that you will love it and you will absolutely love that it picks up light at night so well you would think that you had lights on i'm telling you, it's it's absolutely amazing amazing that is basically the setup here when it comes to actually gaming i play with this xbox usb controller 
<laughs> you should have known it was going to say Amazon, people. Come on now. But, uh, yeah, guys. Everything that you see here is from a budget. Budget, 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 budget. The majority of my computer components in this gaming rig was all used. In fact, the CPU, okay, this AMD CPU, AMD FX CPU, the 8350, that was a actual used broken CPU, okay? It had bent pins that I you know i you know did my maneuvering to unbend the pins and it's working perfectly fine the actual msi r9390 graphics card that was a overheated graphics card that i bought off of ebay for dirt cheap and i basically replaced the thermal paste on this graphics card but but prior to actually adding new thermal paste what i did is i took a heat gun and i applied heat to the gpu and the other microchips. Then I applied the uh, thermal paste and some new thermal pads, and she was good to go. No black screening, no issues of that nature. And in fact, I can kind of show you guys that if we go ahead and launch, we'll let that start. Yeah, everything in this computer rig is majority of the stuff has been used. It sucks, even in fact, these Headphones that you guys see here, these are Xbox headphones, okay? And as you can see right there, these things were actually used. I was gonna do a video about these headphones, but I wasn't too sure. I was just like, nah, they're headphones. People really aren't gonna care about a video of headphones. Like, come on, it's a headphone. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can see this is, it's running. She can do some work. I'm trying to tell you guys, she can do some work. And I need to do some, well, I've been busy. I need to clean my whole computer desk and undust my computers. It's, I got so much going on, but stay tuned because I definitely gonna have a video on that, on how I clean up my junk. I guess the only thing that I honestly forgot to show you guys is this thing right here. My son turned it off got some LEDs underneath and also on the floor and you can see I got some some cabling going on down there I'm not really much of a hide the cable type of guy this chair is it's not like what you would call like a super gaming chair it's more of a uh, office type chair but it works perfectly well. Uh, it reclines back. Of course, I gotta use my body weight to make it recline because if I don't, then the whole chair is gonna wanna recline and we don't want that. But anyway, it's got uh, these I actually got off of. You guys take a pop quiz. Where did I get these things from, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so this is cool because it supports my back. This supports my butt. And, uh, you know, I, I honestly wasn't too sure, like, why they put this thing here. Because it kind of represents, like, an area so you can pass gas and for the air to pass away. You know, you just sit on here, okay, and you just pass gas and it lets the air out. I guess that's what that's for. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not even trying to go there. Whoever designed that, you know, they was, they was thinking too much, thinking way too much. This is it. This is it. Got the, my sentimental stuff here too, which uh, this little guy and little brother over here that's missing a little finger. It's like a Louisiana type of, you know, figure here. I, I absolutely love this. My, my grandmother, she got this for me. 80 years old. She got this for me. Love it. Happy birthday cards. A card from my daughter says, I love you, daddy. Daddy, daddy. Let's see, got two cards from my mom, you know. You only get one mom, so count your blessings, people. And let's see, this is actually a figure of me and my little sister, she drew that. So guys, I might try to make this video too long, so I'm gonna end it here. Definitely appreciate you guys for watching this video definitely appreciate you for liking this video and subscribing to my channel 
for all my day one followers, my day one subscribers. It's nothing but love and joy. On that note, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Peace. Peace.